Hello, my dear friends. Welcome to my channel, the Truth Channel. We are blessed of the Lord. The grace of God is sufficient, given us opportunity to bring to you this message about uh, the priority on the life of a believer, the priority of the Word of God on the life of a believer. The Word of God is so critical to you as a child of God that without it you will not grow without it you will not know God's will for your life without the word of God you will not live a fulfilling life without the word of God you will never be satisfied without the word of God you will not conquer without the word of God you will not live a victorious life without the word of God you will not be stable Spiritually, without the word of God, you will be tossed to and fro by every fancy teaching that come on your way. So, the priority of the word of God is key to you, to fulfilling your assignment here on earth, and for you to living a fulfilling life in today in Christ Jesus. When we look at the scripture, the word of God is the only item which is uh, presented as offensive. Ephesians chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 6, uh, verses 17 talks about the word of God being the sword. We are being told to take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. So in order for you to be able to advance towards the adversary, the opponent, the antagonistic, the enemy, you need the word of God. The word of God is compared with the sword. So even if you have all other uh, elements, all other aspects of a soldier, and you don't have the word of God, then you are weak. You can never be able to overcome the enemy since the word of God is a sword. Also, in the life of Jesus himself, we see him applying the word of God offensively when the enemy attacked him. So you need to have the, the working word of God in you. Since your enemy knows some bit of truth, and this truth that is the one which he always uses to confuse the people of God, for instance, in the temptation of Jesus by the devil, in the book of Matthew chapter 4 and the Luke chapter 4, you see the devil telling him that if he is the son of God to turn the stones into bread. Since now Jesus himself was the word and he had the working word of God, you see him quoting the scripture in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 8, verses 3, which says, A man will not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of God. So you can see, it is very, very important for you to have working knowledge of the word of God within you, so that as you are attested by the enemy, and we found out in previous studies, you can check that temptation is always timely, and it, you will be tempted with the, need, the thing that which you, you need most at that time. So Jesus who was the one who knew everything, we see him now applying the word of God, the Rema word, at that time. And offensively now, he was able to overcome that situation. Remember, the, the key to that statement from the enemy, if you are the son of God. So Jesus knew who he was. He didn't have to prove himself to the adversary. And even you now as a believer, you don't have to, to, to keep on proving yourself to the enemy who you are. Already you should know who you are in Christ Jesus, and you don't have to go in every situation arguing or presenting your case who you are. Already Jesus knew where he had come from, he knew who he was, he knew what he had come to do. But you see, the enemy was not tired. He didn't give up. He, we see him now telling him that uh, if he bowed down before the enemy, then 
the enemy that is Satan would give him all the prestigious things, all the wealth of this nation. But the enemy didn't realize that Jesus was the creator because in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was, was God. Actually, by wisdom, and Christ Jesus is the wisdom, the word was founded. But now, what the enemy wanted to show Jesus there, it is the shortcut. He wanted to show Jesus that you don't have to obey God the Father, you don't have to pay the price, but take this shortcut, and then you will have all what is yours. And that is what the enemy does to you and to me. If we are not keen, he wants us not to follow the procedure, not the process. And he tells us that shortcut is the way of success. I am here to submit to us that uh, the shortest way to failure is the shortcut. So if you want to fail, fail to follow God's way, and God's way may appear long, but it is only proven way for you to live in a fulfilling life. And this only comes through you now growing in the knowledge of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, as Jesus was. He was the one himself working. So you need to have working knowledge of the word of God. The final temptation, Jesus overcame it also through the scripture. As we see now, the enemy requiring Jesus to test him because it was written in the book of Psalms 91 verse 11, 12 that uh, God will give angels the charges over you to hold you in all your ways lest you fall and you have your feet. So realize that uh, Lucifer and some wisdom which was given by God and the gifting of God are irrevocable. Whatever God gives, he does not take away. Uh, so when Lucifer rebelled, when he disobeyed God, that wisdom which he had, it was not taken away from it. As we read, what happened to this wisdom is that it was perverted, it was corrupted. And now, today, he is ruling the world through deception with the wisdom which is coveted. So that is why now it is only in Christ Jesus where you get genuine wisdom, which is able to preserve you and to keep you. So once you are born again, once you are in the kingdom of God, you need to have the wisdom of God, which is everlasting wisdom. And this wisdom is Christ Jesus. This wisdom comes by you asking for it, by you dying to self daily. There is a, a video I have talked about how to get wisdom you can check in our previous study or using the link below so that you can know how to acquire godly wisdom and what is godly wisdom so jesus used the offensive word of god by quoting the book of deuteronomy chapter number six we see him quoting the book of deuteronomy chapter number six verse 16 saying that uh, you should not put the lord you are god into test. So, you and I, we need to prioritize the word of God over everything else. Let us daily take the word of God and meditate on it and study it and it is going to save us. Finally, in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 4, verses 12, we see the word of God presented as a sword. The scripture says, the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword, and it is capable of penetrating both the soul and the spirit, dividing the, the, the bones and the marrow. So the word of God is the only one which is able to meet the, to the union need of a person. As a human being, you are a spirit, you possess a soul which live in a body. So man is a spirit, he possesses a soul which lives in your body. And it is only the word of God which is capable to address the three components which God created as Abin. Because God himself, it is, is, we have God and the, three, the Trinity. So, my dear friends, wherever they are, you are, it is very, 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 very critical for you to embrace the word of God which is capable to address, to meet the needs of your spirit, the needs of your soul, and the needs of your 
body, physical. But at times we see in the current generation in 21st century, people only majoring on one element of who they are, their body. And the body is not the real thing. So the Lord bless you and keep you as you embrace the word of God all the days of your life. Bye-bye. See you in the next presentation.